Hey guys, today we have a special guest. We have uh, Greg with uh, Greg Dennis with a Legion here. He's going to be uh, helping us go over Dexter's uh, line of commercial levers, or grade one and grade two levers. And uh, this is Greg, and uh, I'll let you go and speak. Great. Thanks, you, Ryan. So um, just want to cover some of our uh, features on our Dexter commercial levers. Um, Dexter's a brand we launched in 2016. It is only commercial. Um, it is grade one and grade two levers. Um, it's where it falls on our quality of product. Allegiant has a good, better, best. Our good is Dexter, our better is Falcon, and our best is Schlag with respect to levers. And we will go and we will go back and do some videos on those too. Greg's gonna hopefully be making some videos with us over the next couple months, so you'll be seeing a lot more of them. Uh, but we're gonna discuss Dexter right now, and then we'll go into on some other videos, the Falcon and Schlage levers. Uh, but this right here, we got to stand here showing some of the products. But go ahead. Yes. So first, I like to cover the Grade One. Grade One is the heaviest duty lever lock you can get, whether it be our brand or someone else's. So Grade One typically is used in an application like for schools, hospitals commercial buildings, doors that need uh, the heaviest duty cylindrical lever that is possible. So that would be your grade one. Grade two would be a little bit lighter duty. It could be for interior <coughs> doors. It still could be for exterior doors, but just not as much uh, usage. So again, grade one is the heaviest, grade two is the lightest. Grade three, which Dexter doesn't have, is residential. And we do have some of that product in um, some of our Schlage lines and such. So again, we're going to be covering commercial, grade one, and grade two levers. And grade one is known for being fire rated. And such, you know, schools and hospitals have to have fire rated hardware. So that's when you would more than likely go to grade one. Or if someone just really wants something that's beefier, it's going to, hey, I don't want that. We go in and out this door 200 times a day. I don't want to have to replace it. Perfect. Put a grade one lever on there. Yeah. So I'm going to start with our grade one C1000. One thing I like about Dexter um, besides the product and the pricing, is the way we way we built the part number. It makes it easy for a rep. It makes it easier for a locksmith partner. So grade one is a C for cylindrical, 1,000. Anything with a 1,000 part number, whether it be an exit device, door closer, or a lever lock, you know it's a grade one. A C2000 would be cylindrical, lock set, grade two. And again, that if it's a 2000, it's a grade two. If it's a 1000 part number, it's a grade one. And then as you build out the part number, you have the function, like an ENTR for entry, a STRM for storeroom, um, a PASS for passage, and so on. So we, we, we gave some thought to building the part number so it would make sense to us as the manufacturer, as well as the wholesalers, as well as our, our locksmiths. So on a C1000 grade one, we have seven functions. We have the typical five, which would be your passage, privacy, entry, storeroom, classroom. And then two more that's added is your classroom security, which became popular when, when all the shootings came across with schools and universities and churches, where you have a certain functionality onto it that allows the interior person on the safe side of the room to be able to lock and unlock it with a key. And then we also have an asylum function. Not used quite as much, but that would be for like a mental health hospital, mental health room, and where it's double keyed, a key to get in, a key to get out. So that makes up the seven functions of our grade one. And would that be the same as uh, institutional? Is that what it's called? Yes, asylum, asylum institutional. institutional. It's the same function. We also have two lever designs on both our grade one and grade two. We have our regular, which is kind of a standard curve or uh, back to the door. ADA compliant, and then we have our curved. So we call it a regular, and then we have our curved lever. We have two finishes in our commercial brands. We have the, the most popular 626 finish, which lasts very well. It's the number one finish in a commercial hardware. And then we also have our 613 finish, um, which is your all rub bronze finish. And then also what we have is our key preps. So you have seven functions, you have two lever designs, you have two finishes, and then you have um, two key preps. You have your standard conventional key prep that will take a conventional cylinder, whether it be a Schlage C that this normally comes with, or it might be you can put in a, a restricted key system Everest or a restricted key system Primus, or let's say you need it to be pinned up to a a facility's keyway, it might be Wiser, it might be Sargent, it might be Yale, 
it can take a standard key and lever cylinder to fit in it. The second key prep is your SFIC or small format interchangeable core, which is kind of like a figure depth paint prep that allows you to remove the core for easy um, servicing to repaint it up and so on. So those are the two key preps that are available in the grade one. Um, conventional, KIL as some locksmiths call it, and then your SFIC, small format. So that kind of covers the, uh, well, let me, let me tie into one more thing on the small format. This will take a six or seven pin core. So that's important because some systems need to have a seven pin because it's a large facility. It might be a school, it might be a hospital. You need a lot of changes, master key system. So seven pins allow a lot more changes than a, a six pin core, but it'll take either one of them. And then on to move into our grade two lever, um, so it'd be a C2000 and then the function, the lever design, the finish and the key prep. A um, little bit less functions. Instead of seven, it has six. It has your standard passage privacy, entry, storeroom, classroom, and then it has a single dummy. A single dummy would be, let's say um, it's not keyed, uh, so it would look, oh, that is it. minus the button, yeah, minus <laughs> the button. But it would look like this, but you wouldn't have a key prep. It would be strictly a dummy cylinder. No latch, no key, no inside um, part of the lock. And I just learned something because I didn't know that. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so that's the six functions of the Gray 2, the C2000 series. You also have the standard regular lever. You also have the curved lever. You have the same key preps of a KIL, which will accept again. It comes with a Schlage C if it's a conventional cylinder, six pin. It's six pin pinned up and keyed. So not a lot of other brands out there. They may pin it up. It's a, it's a six pin core or cylinder, but they only pin up five. We pin up every chamber, which is important, um, as well as the small format IC. So we have the same two key preps or cylinder preps in the grade two as we do the grade one. Um, I just noticed here too, we can also explain that clutch. Clutch, I'm yeah. getting to that. Yeah. So the, one of the other features that both the grade one and grade two have is clutched and non-clutch. So both of them have it. So you can choose which one either matches what the, the owner of the building wants, the end user, or to match what they already have. Example is on this grade two, we have it as a rigid. So when it's locked, it doesn't move down, but we also have that available in clutched. An example is I'm just going to pop the button out, but if it was locked, it would do this. The idea behind the clutching is typically vandal resistant, a little bit more vandal resistant where let's say uh, a teenager wants to jump on it and, and, you know, put his weight on it and try to break the lever. When it clutches down, it, he can't get the leverage to do that. Very nice feature, whether it be a teenager, whether it be someone trying to vandalize it and trying to torque the lever and break it. That clutching feature helps prevent that. And then in the grade one, we have it both ways as well. So this one is locked, this clutches down. So again, it could be either rigid or clutched on both the grade one or the grade two series. If you give it enough time, it, a lot of these things do wear too, because people come up, oh, it's locked. And then yeah. after you do that, 150 times or 200, 500 times, whatever, then it starts to sag. So a lot of people go with the clutch function. It's just an extra little feature that they offer. Yeah. Um, one of the last features on our Dexter, um, it's, it's available through um, a lot of the locksmiths. So it's, it's readily available. It's like I said, it's been out since 2016. Um, another nice feature that we offer as the manufacturer is a five-year warranty on standard workmanship. If it's vandalized or someone takes a a hammer to it or a crowbar to it won't be covered, but on normal working conditions, it's warrantied under five years. That's really good. So that means if we sell it to a customer, you know, if it's within our normal warranty period, it covers labor and parts, but say you call us two, three years later, and we know that you purchased this from us, then the labor wouldn't be covered, but the part is for free. And these are, you know, about a hundred, a little over a hundred dollars uh, for the grade two. So, um, yeah, that's a pretty solid warranty, a five year warranty. And another thing, and this is our first, or at least my first uh, video with, with Uriah at Guardian, is we'll cover the Dexter door closers, a, a future video. We'll cover the exit devices. Um, even though we're in the cylindrical, we do have deadbolts, whether it be single cylinder like this with a, with a turn on it that allows you to open it without a key. Or we have uh, also double cylinder with heat on both sides. 
and grade one, grade two. So a DB1000, a DB2000, again, grade one and grade two. So we'll cover future videos on exit devices, door closers, and then we'll go into some of our other brands like Schlage and Von Duprin and the LCN. So your, uh, your grade one levers, just to recap here, your C, C1000 part number series, your grade two are the C2000s, just like this box here, this is the box that we get. So you have your C2000, it's a grade two entry function, regular shape lever, so commercial back set. And this one's for a, like you said, to come in different formats for the small format IC core. So we, we stick with, this is our go-to. So when we sell levers, commercial properties, 95% of the time it's gonna be one of these Dexter levers. If it's a high traffic door, we'll push them towards a grade one, uh, or if it's a hospital or school, we'll push them towards a grade one, uh, but they're very good quality. We have had no problems with them, almost. I don't think we've had any problems with the Dexter lever, and we've been selling them a couple of years now, so it's a great product. Any other stuff? The only thing is dimension would be a typical building might have a mix of these. They may have on the uh, exterior doors a grade one because of the high use, and maybe a couple of interior doors, again, with high use, it might be going into a computer room, might be going into a, um, a lunch room or something like that. You might want to use grade one. But then on the interior offices, that may only be get opened up, you know, five or 10 times a day, a grade two would work fine. And because of the lever designs that match, the finishes, the designs that match, the key preps that match, it'll all flow and, and sweet well within a, a facility, mixing grade ones and grade twos. And if you want to see the quality difference, go to Home Depot or Lowe's and look at their commercial, their commercial levers. So you can look at them, they're a little bit cheaper, but for the small difference, these are way better products. So go to your locksmith, get a commercial lever, a real commercial lever, not a, that's a, I think they call them Tell at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. They're a lot cheaper made. Anything else, Mayor Cooper? That should be it. Just okay. appreciate the time. Well, uh, we appreciate you uh, watching our, our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, not Facebook, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, we're on all the social media platforms, and we appreciate the support.